All right, everybody. Hey guys, this is Josh here with Carl's Mower and Saw, and I'm going to call this Two Take Sunday. Goodness gracious, I was out here and I quickly shot a video on how I use my steel string trimmer to edge my lawn. Okay? There's a lot of people that this is what they want to do. There's a lot of people that see their landscape professionals, the lawn pros, cruise the lawn super fast and they make these beautiful, crisp edges. And I know that today, I'm probably going to get roasted by a few people because my method is actually somewhat different than all you pros do. And, and that's all right. I found this to work for me. And I've also trained a few other people on how to do it this way. And they've said to me, they've come back and said, wow, I can actually make my edges look fairly decent. So here's the problem. I just shot this video. And what I realized is my head was gone the whole time. So I really don't have an edge to do anymore, but I can at least take the time to show you how I hold it. I'll whip the edge, you know, kind of fake cut something up a little bit, but that way you can see how I use this machine uh, to get nice, crisp, clean lines along my edge. So I'm gonna back up here. A little shout out to my donkey. My, my son and some of his buddies thought he should be in all of my videos. I'm not sure that that's gonna happen every time, but there we go, we got the donkey in this video. So safety, no, before I throw on the safety gear, I'm going to walk up a little closer. I'm going to show you how I hold my trimmer versus how others hold theirs. So you've maybe watched the guy, the pro across the street, and he comes out and he's maybe holding it like this and he's cruising along backwards. Man, he's just flying. He's good at it. Or they're doing this and they've got kind of these, they're out away from their body. And to me, that is hard for me to keep this thing stable. They also walk backwards and hey, maybe that works really well for you. And, and if that works for you, great, keep doing it. But I find I have a problem walking backwards, walking straight, holding things steady. So what I do is I hold the machine like this, tight up against my body, right? Kind of resting the handle on my gut, helps stabilize it a little bit. And I hold it just like this. Okay, if you're gonna notice, I'm not holding the handle, I'm holding the shaft down lower here. It acts as a good stabilizer, and when it's pressed tight against my body, it really helps keep things from wobbling around. And I simply run the trigger, the throttle, with my pinky. And I walk forward, so I'm gonna do just like this. I'm gonna walk forward, holding it like so, and I have very good vision of what's going on. It's actually as the line head is spinning, it's pushing it down and back away from me, so I'm not getting pelted in the face with all kinds of crap. It doesn't feel good. Now I will tell you this does not work with a curved shaft trimmer because they spin the opposite direction and does not work with a fair amount of battery power trimmers because again, they're spinning in the opposite direction. So if you have yourself an FSA 90 steel battery trimmer, uh, this isn't gonna work for you. I'm sorry. You're, you'll maybe figure something out. We'll see. Okay, so let me hold it up here. Walk up close. Get, get this in the camera view here. Okay, you see how I'm holding that? See my pinky? Bam. See a side profile? I'll turn around, see a back profile? Nice, no comments. There we go. You got a good idea of how I hold that. Let's throw this safety gear on. These things are filthy. I can still see all right though. Let's fire it up. Get back here so you can get, catch it for a little while. See how that works? I'm just cruising forward and everything's coming behind me. And I'm able to get a fairly... That doesn't work when I try to talk over the motor. And I'm able to get a fairly decently clean cut. And see what's going on. So I whip around my yard really quickly, edging. And then I come back and I'll do what I call the flat top. A lot of guys are called flat top. And the way the head is spinning, it's pulling all that grass that's still kind of hanging over the edge a little bit, pulling it all out and throwing it in the lawn. Then I can get my lawnmower out, clean it up. What a beautiful way to, to trim or to strim, as some of my friends 
in Europe like to say with their strimmer, string trim their edge. And it gets a nice clean edge. I don't do this uh, all the time. I'd say about once a month I, I break out my stick edger, my solid blade edger. I always use the solid blade edger around my concrete, right, where I want those crisp, tight lines. Hey, there we go. That's an idea of how you can put your combi tool to use. In a bit here, I'm going to break out my sweeper, right? I've already trimmed and I've edged. Uh, I'm going to break out my sweeper, my combi sweeper attachment. i got a lot of gravel and rocks on my road just from them chip sealing it and it's coming loose. And every time I pull into my driveway, some more rocks just fall off on my driveway and I'm sick of that. So I'm going to try to clean the road for the county, shine up my part of the neighborhood and keep the rocks off. There you go, guys. Josh, Carl's mower and saw. Glad that I could give you something a little different today. Comment down below. How do you trim your edges? Do you do it like that or do you have a different method? If you do try my method and it helps you out, I'd love to know. Share it with friends. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Check out our full line of videos, making you a pro on your lawn. Hey, this is Josh from Carl's Mower and Saw. Thanks for watching our videos. We're proud of the fact that we've been serving you with the best in outdoor power equipment since 1990. We're glad that you had an opportunity to sit down, watch our videos, learn something about an exciting new product that we have, something that interests you for your property, or really how to use your equipment to the best of its ability. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, whether it's on Instagram or YouTube. We're excited to share more information with you. See you soon.